Hello, comrade. Last time we beat the game, this time we will destroy it. So let's find out how. Welcome back to Season 3 of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. This playthrough, we will pay attention to mountains and what's inside of these mountains, because we pull, pull it out. And the plan is the following. I want to crush the economy of the game. So, I want to uh, create a situation where the game sells us coal for one ruble per ton. Or sells coal to the world for one ruble per ton. You're welcome. This is... Uh, I don't know if it's possible. We will find out. And uh, I like it because there's it's a simple rule. So I will stay at no mods and um, that's the basics. And I everything evolves uh, for this rule or this challenge run to export as much as we can to push the oil, the coal price down as much as we can. And uh, what this does it mean is a little bit explained by this graph here. Here not, it's only one graph. So um, we have at the top here steel and at the next one it is bricks, coal and raw coal. And these are our uh, main things we work with. So. We want to push the coal price, which is currently at uh, around 19, uh, 29 ruble per ton. We will push it down to <laughs> under 1 ruble per ton. Is it possible? I don't know. I will try it. <laughs> and it's uh, for me, it's interesting. Can I make it work? How much effort it will be to push the, oil pri uh, the coal price so much down? always thinking about oil because this one um, you usually push down into the ground yeah so that's the situation what works against me is the general inflation which is the straight curve at the top so everything gets year after year 10% uh, higher in value so I have work against the clock in some way so this is for me interesting enough and yeah I want to take it on. So how do we do this? Um, we are still here at the map from the last season. And um, this is a nice city. I have made some little changes, nothing big. So um, I have created a big distribution office. I have created a small const <laughs> construction area is uh, gravel and all that good stuff yeah and uh, also apart from the town and our industry here we have another industry over here so we have created a long road just to recap to here get advantage of one border post I have created here a little construction area. Um, I need to get rid of my mud construction offices. I need them. So, uh, here's our other industry, which we maybe take a little bit more advantage of. At the moment, it's fueled by foreign workforce. And the problem with the foreign... Ah, you're going to do... Okay. Um, the thing with foreign workforce is they are quite ineffective <laughs> so at the moment i have 30 workers which is a little bit too little i want to have more um so maybe we will do something about this in the future because where we go i need money i have um extended a little bit the oil field and i want to have eight to ten pumps maybe online for the oil field this will be enough I want my goal was to have a product production of 10% of the uh, max production of the refinery. We will see if we can make it work. Yeah, and then the last leg of this whole journey is the long road to Canada, which is here. So.
so we go here and have created a stretch where we go here and here and here. At the moment we export fuel and bitumen to Canada. Here's one of the strippies. Yep. So one of the trucks is worth 2700, which is really nice. Mm. We, you started with the uh, oil export because it was closer to the border. As soon as we have created the refinery, we switched to fuel and bitumen to the west. Because we borrowed some money from the west and we need to repay it. And at the moment it goes swimmingly. So loan-wise we are out of loans. Uh, we have some loans from the last season which are not so much. Um, it's 80,000, uh, we pay them back, and we pay them back at the same rate, so we need to pay 20,000 a month back, and we have an income. Let's see. Last month, Soviet bloc has, uh, still we exporting oil, which I want to stop, and we export bauxite between 130 and 180,000. A month which is always a little bit shifting because of the ships and on the western side no, not so much last month i think because i changed the oil stuff so uh, let's see this here see it's, it's 67,000, and uh, you see here the exhaust yeah you see it a little bit flatlined because i changed the fuel distribution it will pick up i have no doubt about it okay yeah and we made half of our money we brought back, back, but <laughs> the other half will come. Okay, good. So that's the situation, that's the goal for the for this season. It's a completely different approach than the last two seasons where I started um, how to get started in realistic mode. Now we will kill realistic mode. <laughs> yeah. At least I will try. Yeah. And I hope you have fun watching the season if, as you have fun watching the last seasons we will make our best to have a good time so see you bye bye comrades